Welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, the last week I showed you how to make this little panda card that also featured the fruit basket and I got lots of requests. Please could I make the, um, the little box and show you how I've made the little box. Um, I learned how to do this from um, one of my team, uh, Tracy McDonnell, and she sent me um, a little box which I pulled apart. Isn't that mean? <laughs> But I got all the measurements here, so I will pull those out to you. So here's one I cut earlier. So it's five and a quarter inches by seven and three quarter inches. And it's scored along the long side. I have scored it at three quarters of an inch and seven inches. And turned portrait, I have scored it at three quarters of an inch two and a quarter, three and four and a half. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut some little slits out here. And I'm just cutting some little notches just so that it sits nice and flat. Hopefully I'm doing that in front of the camera. That would be good. And there. And there. And then we'll just go ahead and stick that box together. Now one of the pieces is going to be the base and one is going to be the lid. So this is the lid that I'm doing now. And then we'll go ahead and do the base. And for the base that needs to stick to these little tabs that are in the middle. So I'll bring those up and up there. Oops, didn't hold that for quite long enough. There we go, and then a little bit of Tombow on there and there, and fold this piece down as well. And so the lid is going to fold forward over the top and close like that. Now I'm going to make a little notch in the front but not until I have stuck on my designer paper. So I've picked out, I am doing this, I've decided to go ahead and do the strawberry one because it's my favourite. Um, but these are the papers from the fruit basket um, set. And I'm going ahead and sticking that one on the top. You can see that my original boxes that I was playing with were a little bit longer, but because my paper was six by six, I then had gaps at the end, which I didn't really like. So that's why the measurements I've given you actually give you that, um, that measurement, which will give you the paper, the six by six paper sitting nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow along the front. And stick that piece on and then just along the back and you could do the sides as well if you if you wish but I've just decorated top front and back with the designer paper and these are half an inch by six inches that is one and a quarter by six inch if I didn't say that and then I'm just going to take my uh, I think actually I'll take the um, the one inch punch and just eyeballing that in the middle and just giving it just a little curve so that you can easily open that. And to give it a good closure we're going to wrap a belly band around it. I've used the same paper but I'm using the reverse there. That is a one inch strip by six inches. I'm just going to roll that round and put it on the glue that on the back. Um, 
and just make sure you've got a, enough wiggle room so that you can slide it on and off easily to get the box open. There we go. And we'll do a little bit of decoration on there, I think. So I will do some stamping. Now I wanted to show you these. I did show you them briefly, um, but these are our little mini stamping spots. Um, you can get um, the uninked ones and re-ink them any colour you like, but we are selling a few little mini ones. And I think um, with the um, Stamparatus, they might be quite good for these little bits and pieces. Um, or indeed, if you don't have, if you don't already have um, these colours, you can just get your hands on a little ink spot. And these, of course, can be re-inked as well. Um, as obviously don't come with quite as much ink because they're little. So I'm stamping the strawberry and this time I am doing that with the real red that's in that set and also the um, lemon lime twist. Love lemon lime twist. And then we're going to punch that out with the strawberry punch. If you didn't see my video last week, um, the punched images are smaller when you punch them out because they crop off the edge so you don't get a white line. So you can see the difference in size if you stamp it or if you punch it. Someone said they didn't understand that last week because I didn't show it well enough, so hopefully that makes sense now. And here's some I stamped earlier. Lots of little strawberries, just love them. Um, now I'm going to stamp um, a Knight of Navy circle. The, the um, colour on the back of this paper is the Knight of Navy, so I'm going to colour the do the Knight of Navy circle. That's in a one and a quarter inch. And then I've got the words um, Hello Friend here. Also, that is also from the Fruit Basket stamp set. And I'm going to ink those up with one of the other colours that's in this little set of four, which is soft suede. You get all four. And I'm going to punch that out with a one inch punch, if that fits. That's a good fit. Lovely. And with my mini dimensionals, don't you love them? I'm going to pop a mini dimensional in the middle of that and then put a little strawberry on there and we'll stick that onto the end of the box and with my bigger box I did another one at the other end what do you think? more is more I always think this is a three quarter inch circle that I'm now punching there. And let's have my little strawberry on there. There we go. And then we'll pop a couple of, of strawberries, glue those straight onto the belly band, that one and that one. Whoops. And then the last one will just pop up again on a mini dimensional. You can never have too many strawberries. There we go. So as you can see, that was slightly smaller than my, my previous box. I think it's like about half an inch um, smaller that I went for. But I do like the way it, when I've decorated it with the six by six paper, it works just perfectly. So thank you very much for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. If you'd like any of the goodies that I have showed you, um, have a little look down below and you will find my um, where to find me online. And I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.